David, you, you uh, increase your uh, global medical customer growth uh, estimates for the year ahead to 300 to 400,000. It's about a 2% growth uh, from the 2018 outlook. Talk us through where that comes from, the balance between domestic and international. Sure, Wolf. Um, broadly, that's a domestic number. We'll, we talk about our international business beyond that. We've been fortunate that we've organically or without acquisition grown our medical customers each of the last eight years. And we'll step into 2019 with another very attractive growth year. It comes from commercial employers in the United States, first with outstanding retention, and then good new business ads for small, medium, and targeted large employers. So we couldn't be happier with that outlook. I noticed uh, in some of the analyst write-ups that the range you've offered, 300 to 400,000, is tighter than normal, and some suggesting that uh, you therefore have less confidence you're going to be able to come in at the top end and beat it. Is that a fair assumption? Oh, I wouldn't read into that at all. We have a track record of outstanding result delivery. And again, we have eight years of successfully growing that business. And we've taken a different posture than many in our space, viewing that the U.S. commercial employer marketplace is actually a growth market by subsegmenting the market, getting deep insights relative to employers' needs, and being consultative and working with them. So we're excited to step into this year with another year of outstanding both client retention and targeted new business growth. So it's another strong year that we began in 2019. I mean, let's talk about the deal, which this is the first time we're talking to you since you closed the big Express Scripts deal, David. Talk to us about how consumers are going to be impacted and whether they're actually going to be able to see lower prescription drug prices as a result. Sure, Sarah. So our number one objective as we close the transaction um, in the last 10 days of 2018 was to ensure that both organizations remained passionately focused on making sure our clients and customers got the right service, especially as we step into January, which is an exceptionally busy time for our business. And through the first seven days of the year, the results are outstanding. So number one is make sure smooth, consistent delivery of our promise because both companies have a great track record of delivering in that. Two, both companies are delivering very strong medical cost results or slowing, slowing the rate of growth with outstanding clinical quality programs. And as we step into 2019, we'll begin to get the additional contribution of the business. Very importantly, Sarah, when we announced the transaction, we said the preponderance of all the medical and pharmacy cost savings would go to our customers and clients to improve affordability, while the administrative cost savings would come to our shareholders. So a benefit to the shareholders, but a significant benefit to the customers and clients. And that'll start in 2019.